at the Old Field Preserve in Lewisboro, New York. And as you can see, these fields are uncut. And what's coming naturally is goldenrod, grasses. We have milkweed that the butterflies, monarchs love. And it's the simplest way to create a meadow with cut paths in between. There are invases in here and those can be removed by hand or small dabs of herbicide. But here, the, the fields just grow and you can see it's quite lovely. If you wanted to do this at home, you could try a patch of lawn and just let it grow. The other ways to create a meadow are actually to strip the soil. And the best way to do that is to put down black paper for a season or in the winter. And then in the spring, the grass is removed and you can plant with native wildflower seeds and we'll give you resources for that. Or you can buy landscape plugs that are of diverse native, native plants and, and put those into the ground. The other way is to even buy full-on perennials, one gallon perennials. Start small, start in patches, and you'll see how gratifying it is when the birds and the bees and the butterflies come. The meadow that grows this way may look a little unkempt, but generally it's the easiest way to create this temporary ecosystem. If it wasn't cut once a year, it would ultimately turn into a forest. This is my meadow. And all it is simply is a one acre lawn that I let grow naturally. I've also planted a few select perennials just to drop in to enhance the meadow. You can see Black Eyed Susans, Baptisia, this is false indigo. I even planted some panicum grasses. This is a switchgrass. Over here, you may consider this a weed. This came up naturally. It's a little aster type plant. Let's see what else we have in here. I added salvias, and this gave a great show early in the season before the grasses were really high. We have echinaceas. But generally, this grass just came up naturally. Of course, there are gonna be some weeds. I generally just leave them. Later in the season, this will be mowed down, but it could be up through the winter to February. In the smaller setting, I planted my meadow. And here is the controlled area that I planted and also just let go. As you can see, it's along the side of a road in front of my stone wall. A very easy amount of space to, to work with. I put in Black Eyed Susan seeds earlier in the summer. Queen Anne's lace has come up on its own. The ferns were planted years ago. This is the cinnamon fern. It's a little shady here. I had some cosmos seed. You see the cosmos coming in. I do spray for deer, but this time of year, you can see there's a mix of some weeds, but the Black Eyed Susans, ferns, Queen Anne's lace are doing fine. I even have some liatris over there. And every year, all this comes back. You can visit several meadows as part of the Westchester Pollinators Garden Tour on September 13th. There'll be large and small meadows created by both professionals and homeowners. If you have suggestions about any gardens that we should include, please contact us at info at healthyyards.org. And we hope you'll join us on the tour.